The new stars is an alpha 3.2 patch just hit the PTU in the experimental branch. And uh, we got the patch notes here and we're just going to go straight into it. When it comes to the test and focus, they have here general stability and bug fixes and uh, density manager optimization, which is something that's meant to make sure nothing disappears when it's not supposed to. Um, also, Zeno Threat play testing. This is going to play throughout Thursday through to Monday, the entire weekend. So that's awesome. Um, so when it comes to the core tech density manager optimization is what they have listed here, as well as they made further entitlement process improvement. Along with that is they made some updates to the logging queue timer as well. They also have a list of bug fixes, which we're going to go straight into as well. So we're looking at the Argo raft cargo is not removed after selling it and can be sold separate players in a given instance may experience a response latency of up to dozens of seconds for interactions that's been fixed before we move forward i'd like to let you guys know that we're doing a giveaway for the month of april and that is an lti great cat stv all you got to do is subscribe to this channel and leave a comment on any video between the entire month of april all right so let's move on so when it comes to loot generation, it says lootable container slots are filled out, but streamed out resulting in no loot in Korea. That's been fixed. Melting and upgrading the ship when a player is bedlocked in that ship will put the player in a bad state, which is uh, the 30,018 login error. It essentially means you cannot log in. Um, when it comes to Xeno Threat Phase 2 and 3, there is a performance issue with rubber banding during the gameplay, so that's been fixed. When it comes to audio, the Visit Orison commercial locks up in the client, so that's been fixed. Loot boxes, when users crash while interacting with a loot box, it becomes unavailable to other players, so I, I have noticed that in even a live service, I've noticed that and uh, I'm glad to hear that that's been fixed. When it comes to derelict colonial outpost, a gray box mannequin can be seen floating above the lake located at the outskirts of derelict outposts. So that's been fixed. Here's model will vanish briefly when the player is walking on the top of the end section of the constellation derelict in a third person view. So that's been fixed. When it comes to Zeta Prolonade Salvage Claim, now all the cargo boxes are spawning in for the player to retrieve. So that's been fixed. Glad to hear that. When it comes to combat assistant missions, it will not progress after ships have been destroyed. So that's been fixed. That's good to hear. Player is able to refine mine materials twice using separate refinement processing kiosks at the same time earning money twice on one load that's a really nice bug <laughs> that's pretty cool so that's been fixed as well when it comes to scanning players are unable to scan mining deposits so that's been fixed the new deal and vantage rental kiosks are missing that's been fixed when it comes to the asop terminal fleet manager a non-owner player can log out in the prisoner's seat and cause the hawk to not retrieved correctly after insurance claim which can be used to occupy all landing pads so that's been fixed um, along with this they have two client crashes as well as six server crashes you guys already know what to do leave a like subscribe i'll see you on the next video